हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ज्ञान विज्ञान फाउंडेशन अयर अकेडमी एंड यू आर वॉचिंग माई यूट्यूब चैनल ज्ञान विज्ञान फाउंडेशन सो फ्रेंड्स टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी शेल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वन अनदर सब टॉपिक इन फिजिक्स दैट इज अबाउट द क्वालिटीज ऑफ साउंड द मेजर क्वालिटीज ऑफ ऑडिबल साउंड आर नंबर वन पिच टिम्बर and loudness so friends this was about the qualities of sound now let us try to understand one by one that is about the pitch so the pitch is the aspect which refers to the sharpness or shrillness of the sound if the frequency of sound is increased then we perceive an increase in the pitch or we feel the sound to be more sharper the tone is the single frequency of that wave while a note may contain one or more than one tone the word high pitch or high tone is used when the frequency is high so friends this was about the term pitch and now let us see some examples of pitch that is the number 1 is about the tones of guitars are sharper than that of a bass guitar similarly we can see one another example of pitch that is the sound of a tabla is sharper then that of a dagga and the third example is the sound of a female is sharper than that of a male so friends this was about the pitch and their examples now let us try to understand one another term in sound that is about the timbre during a telephonic conversation with a friend we are able to know who is speaking at the other end even if we are not told about the name of the person who is speaking quite often we say that couldn't you recognize the voice the sound quality in this reference is called as timbre similarly a song played on a guitar a harmonium or a piano feel significantly different and we can easily identify that particular instrument so friends now let us see about the loudness the intensity i of a wave is directly proportional to the square of the amplitude that is capital a of the wave mathematically we can write it as capital i is directly proportional to capital a square where capital i is called as the intensity of wave and capital a is called as the amplitude of the wave and is also measured in terms of weber per meter square in si unit the human perception of intensity sound is called as loudness if the intensity of sound is more than the loudness is more the human response to the intensity is not linear this is also valid for brightness of light so friends we have seen about the loudness now let us try to understand about the next term that is the doppler effect the doppler effect is also called as the phenomenon which is observed whenever the source of waves are moving with respect to an observer then secondly 
we might have heard an approaching train and noticed distinct change in the pitch of the sound of its whistle when it passes away and thirdly we can see that similarly the same thing happen when a listener travels towards or away from the stationary source of sound such a phenomenon is called as doppler effect now friends let us see some example that is about an ambulance when an ambulance crosses with its siren on it is a common physical example of doppler effect so friends by now you might have understood my sub topic in physics and if you have understood my sub topic in physics then please like subscribe and comment my channel